So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, please now look to the skies and welcome the Peabody Kitty Hall. Dick Merrill and Harry Rickman, who uh, took off from Birkdale 80 years ago, and the composer of that song, Harry Rickman, uh, we welcome from the uh, Hangar 11 collection at uh, North Wheel, Royal Air Force's 112 Squadron. Also used in the far north in the Aleutians and the entire Pacific campaign against the Japanese as well. They were the main weapon in the China, Burma, in the to Oregon University as an instructional aircraft for many years. He had an experienced man at uh, showing off uh, these uh, fabulous aircraft. He compares uh, many of the uh, owners and uh, the different types that he flies. Where all the winds are at. So if it's five knots, they might move to 300 meters. If it's 20 knots, they could go up to about a kilometer. So it's a very good... So see now, guys running out, give a big round of applause. Hey! Brilliant, guys. So hopefully on the display today, the weather is looking good with the clouds. We're going to try and do a high show for you. What that means, we're going to do something called a tribicide. It's a very difficult piece of crew, canopy formation work. What it means first is that the guys clinking the canopies together in a free stack, so one top of the other. It's very risky work, crew is. But let's say we're going to be attached together. It all goes well, we smoke, maybe a flag and we're going to a down plane. What that means, the guys will be reaching 60, 70 miles an hour, rushing towards the sky, rushing towards the sky the floor. Also, you have Jim, who's going to be our free fall guy. He's going to have smoke trading. He's going to reach speeds of 120 miles an hour, racing towards the ground. Go on, ladies and gentlemen, give him a bit of a wave as a leave. Nice big wave, ladies and gentlemen. Brilliant, guys. So, as I was saying, Jim is going to be leaving first. He's going to be training smoke. He's going to reach speeds of 120 miles an hour, rushing towards the ground. And when he opens his canopy, he's going to do something for us. Second smoke. So guys, if we look up now to the skies, you better see that actually are in a free second at the moment. Uh, we'll be compressing and okay, getting set up to do a tribal side. So a little bit now, Jim is coming back down to the landing area, setting himself up with the flag and smoke chain. Like I say, guys, at the moment, it's probably going 20 miles an hour, coming towards the ground. We're just a flag. When it comes into the lab, please, please give him a big round of applause. When he comes in, he's a very hard job, but he's very skilled at what he does. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, as he comes into land. Brilliant, guys. Now, if you look up, you can see the guys that are always compressed. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the hardest tricks to do, guys, in canopy formation. We've been practicing this all year round. And we've got a very good... <laughs> so the guy now, Frank Meadow, is making sure the guy's in the right place just before they do the down plane. So you can see, guys, they're going to a down plane. These guys are reaching speeds of 160 miles an hour, racing through the airs, training smoke. It's a very complex trick to do. The guys do it so well. Gentlemen, it's been a down plane. I saw it at the land patterns now to make sure they land safely in the arena. I said that was Corporal Frank Millerick, our team leader, with Lance Corporal Will Forbes and Lance Corporal Chris Smith. That's Corporal Frank Millerick now coming to land on the Union Jack Canopy. We've got Lance Corporal Will Forbes with a TSA flag coming directly behind him. And we've got Lance Corporal Chris Smith on the P&O canopy coming in as well. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been a great crowd. Please give the team a loud applause for coming to land. as he pulls up at 400 miles an hour and four times the force of gravity he calls the pilots into short diamond
coming down the hill now they start accelerating as the smoke goes off and at the front there is red one squadron leader David Montenegro he's in his second year as the team leader he is a former Hawk flying instructor and tornado F3 air defense pilot they're going to fly the shuttle roll Canopy's coming towards the pilots, we'll see you now, waving now, South Wallace gives the pilots a big wave as they go upside down at two and a half thousand feet, 400 miles per hour in that fantastic space shuttle shape. At the front of the right hand, this is Typhoon! The other of our new pilots this year used to fly the Typhoon. He is Red Big Vixen, and they're going to fly the Big Vixen roll. Out, rolling, out. Easy, up. Another big wave, Southport, upside down at two and a half and 400 miles an hour, one of my favourite shapes there, Big Vixen. Squeezing to 4G as they pull up in Hammer. Red 1 is now twisting this loop towards us through 90 degrees and you can see why now this shape is called Hammer. Now get your cameras ready as we start the second part of our display. This is the hammerhead break. Keep your eyes on the two jets closest to us. Red cameras ready. These are the opposition barrel rolls. Very patriotic manoeuvre now. Get your cameras ready for the goose. for Great Britain! Hey! On the pilot's door, more comfortable on their respective sides. The inflection in Red One's voice tightening as they call 4G. Yeah, that'll be a good night. 